Hi, welcome back to Celebrating Culture. We're here at the Bocce Club in Metairie, Louisiana, and I'm with TJ Stradinova. TJ, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> now understand, you're in the middle of a match, and you're in the finals. Yes, yeah, so, so you came on a good day. This is our uh, finals for our, uh, our summer leagues. What is bocce? Because a lot of people, it, it's, it's basically pretty simple. Absolutely. So we have actually people in our leagues from uh, 14 years old to 84. So we have all ages, all genders, of course, all skill levels. It's a real simple game. So anyone can really pick it up and be decent, but then it takes a lifetime to really be an expert. Regarding the game itself, very simple game. It's actually the oldest game known to man. They found frescoes in Egypt dating back to 5200 BC. BC. BC of the Egyptians playing a game very similar to bocce. It is actually associated with Italians these days. And the reason why that happened was when the Roman Empire expanded into Egypt, the Roman legionnaires loved the game so much that they adopted the game. They actually made a bocce set part of their regular equipment along with their spears and their shields. And they took it all around the empire and stayed what would be considered an Italian game. However, it's uh, played all over the world these days. A lot of people say it's about the third uh, most played game in the world behind soccer and golf. Very simple game. So you have the small ball, the polino. Then you have the big balls called the bocce balls. And you're basically just trying to get the team's bocce balls closer to the polino than the rest of the other team. Very easy game to pick up. And pretty much anyone can just play at a good skill level within a day. Yeah, you know, we've been around for 47 years now. So we started in the backyards of a couple of members where they created these course, created these leagues back in 1971. The club itself hosts a lot of other events. You had Republic Day events here? Yes, absolutely. We also have a full kitchen, a bar. We have seating for up to 100 people. Yeah, besides trying to make some money for the club and help out the other Italian organizations by doing more and more events here. We are here back in June to celebrate Italian Republic Day, which was a great event. We actually partnered with Lena Prima's organization, Chow right Women. Now, yes. uh, you know, they came in, we had help from the East Jefferson uh, Italian American Society. And we, it was a really good uh, dinner, a great celebration of Italian heritage. And we of course played some bocce. But you had some great food. What did you have here? Yeah, we, we've had some, some wonderful sponsorships. We've had Angelo Bacato has been a, a wonderful sponsor of ours. You've had Reginelli's, we've had Piccolito Gelato, also Norjo's. You have Italian classes here. You're yes, working with the Piazza. We have a lot of partnerships with various organizations. One of them that we partner with is the American Italian Cultural Center that's located right near the Piazza d'Italia. They come here on two nights a week and they hold their Italian classes. We're trying to keep this very unique organization alive. We're the only bocce place in town and we've been here for 47 years. If something like this ceases to exist, nothing like this is ever going to be here again. I mean, this is a unique organization, a unique center, celebrating not only bocce, but really the you know, Italian-American heritage. I can imagine right now, you probably need to be mentally getting ready for your championship match. Yes, yeah, it's a big, yeah, it's a big deal. So we have a wall of fame over there of all the champions. I haven't been on there yet. So Twelve we'll years, and this uh, might be yes, the time. So this, this might be it. <laughs> so if somebody wants to get in touch with the club, where do they go? We have a Facebook page. You know, search Bocce New Orleans. You're going to find us. So what we do is we post all of our events, all of our leagues, our open nights. Uh, most Thursdays when we're open, it's five dollars for anyone to come to play bocce. Well, TJ, I want to thank you for being on the show, and I want to hope you hit that Polino every ball that you throw this. This match. All right, I'm getting up. on that wall thing, I'm telling you, Charles. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of Celebrating Culture.